I'm Mike. And I'm Becky. And we're going off grid together. We love traveling to outdoor destinations all over the world. And after a fun trip with a teardrop trailer last year, we decided to do the van conversion thing. While times have changed, we're pressing ahead with our conversion and getting outside wherever possible. Come along with us and our friends as we build our van and go off grid, yo. All right, I'm here to talk to you about the Weber Go Anywhere. Some of you may have seen a, a video that I did a few years back um, where I showed some mods. Today we're going to kind of start from the beginning about why the Weber Go Anywhere is really what I've found to be the perfect camping grill, especially for a small family or just two people. My kids are grown. So the Weber Go Anywhere is pretty cool. I bought this for $54 off of the Ace Hardware website. And um, it's a very, very simple grill, but that's part of what makes it really cool. So it's got handles so you can pick it up. It's got another handle on the top so you can carry it. The legs are what holds the top on so that you can pick it up and carry it, all right? They pop off, then you can lift it up and put it on the legs, and then you can get then you can get the top off. All right. Now, the first thing is something I didn't know, like from the very beginning, and that there's little tabs here that will hold the lid on the edge of the grill while you're working with it. That's pretty cool, huh? Of course, I would be using it this way, but we're going to set that aside so you can see some of the other things that are in there. It's pretty simple. You've got a food grate that sits right up here in the, in the top lip. Below that is the fire grate. This holds the charcoal up off the ground so that that charcoal can get air inside the air vents that are above the legs. And you adjust that by pushing this thing down or pulling it up to open the vent. Pretty cool. All right. So that's the basic thing. You know, the basic thing you do is you light charcoal. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, preferably uh, using a charcoal chimney. Um, when they're ready to go, when they're all nice and white, you put them down there in the fire grate and then you put the food grate on and then you cook your food over the coals. Doesn't get any simpler than that, but there's a lot more to the Weber Go Anywhere than just direct cooking. And we're gonna talk about that next. So the first thing we're gonna do uh, to make this whole mod work is we have to cut this grate in order to get it to fit down inside the grill is hang on a fit without cutting it. It's designed not to go inside. Um, so we're going to cut it in two pieces so that it'll fit inside. But not only that, then we can uh, slide it back and forth on and off direct cooking, um, which we'll talk about in a little bit about how to do that. But that's how we're going to get indirect cooking or part of how we're going to do it. And then that's also how we can do things like reverse searing a steak or pork chop or something along those lines. So what you want to do is you want to find the middle and I found the easiest way to do that is just to balance it on your fingers, right? And you'll find that one of these, one of these cross grates is in the middle. You want to find the next one over and then mark a cut spot just on the other side of it. So one of these is going to be a little bit bigger than the other or provide a little bit more cooking width than the other but that's fine that'll also help them nest once we get everything in there and you're going to be surprised about how much we're going to be able to get in there just by making this one modification to the grill okay we're about to uh, cut the grate on the marks that i just made and make sure you have eye protection sometimes i forget i shouldn't i'm a photographer so uh, 
still photographer, not a video photographer at all. Um, but I value my eyesight, as I think everyone does. Gloves are always a good good idea, especially with uh, with a grinder like this. So I'm just going to grind on those marks. I'm going to cut up close to the one over from the middle, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Cut the middle. Now what I can do is I can clean while this is clamped in, I can clean up these uh, sharp edges here. So I'll just use the edge of this cutting wheel. It's not going to hurt. It. Now I just need to uh, clamp in the other one and clean up the other side. Be careful, it got hot where it was being cut. do that. Now I just need to clean up a mess and we'll go back to the back porch. Okay, now we have our grate in two pieces. That's key. Of course, I'm sure we voided the warranty. But that's not all we're going to do. So what that allows is that allows, instead of it having to fit in this way, like it did before, picking up all this cubic storage inside it allows us to take this I'll usually flip it upside down set it in here this way and then this one right side up kind of nests with it right inside there so now we've got storage above the grate that goes all the way up into the lid so we can get some pretty big things in there plus we still have some storage under the fire grate so um, in the next clip you're going to see um, the things we're going to talk about the things that I take barbecuing um, that all fit in here and why I take them and why they're useful okay now I've assembled all the items that I usually take barbecuing and uh, since I built one of these before I know that it all fits in there. So we'll see. Um, everybody, uh, everybody needs to have, uh, well, the first thing you need is you need a way to start the fire. So we'll put in a lighter and that's just a regular Scripto lighter. Um, also, I'll put a link to all these items on Amazon. Um, I already have an Amazon list that's up there about it. The other thing you need is a uh, spatula flipper, flipping burgers, um, what have you. I'm a bigger fan of the tongs, so we put those in there like that. And those are all the items that I put below the fire grate. And uh, we'll go ahead and put the fire grate in. 
side down, right side up, it really doesn't matter. So, here's the real key behind this whole thing, and that is, this is a stainless steel bread pan. Again, the link will be uh, down in the description. Um, this pan is your firebox for turning this into a smoker. So this com combines your fire over here so that you can use these small grates we have over here for holding your food and smoking it. The other thing you can do is this is a part uh, from a toaster oven. So basically it's a drip pan with a cooking grate. This can allow you to cook down on the food grate level and this is the key to being able to do a whole chicken or a whole pork butt in this tiny little now small smoker. So I usually put that down I usually put that down on this end like this. Then for storage I put the bread pan over here which is also the smoke box. Other things you need are fire starters and I like these fire starters I'll, I'll also put a link in there I've been buying these for years they're paraffin and uh, recycled cardboard um, they're waterproof I mean they'll light uh, if they're wet uh, for some reason I still put them in a, in a ziplock and I put those inside the bread pan always need an instant read thermometer um, yeah I've got a Thermoworks uh, Thermopop um, that I use I take sometimes but I always have a, a backup um, in case batteries run down. And then uh, you guys have probably heard with all the grill grates or the grill brushes that uh, you know you don't want to end up with any of those wires in your gut because um, they can cause some real problems. So I found this really compact one. Um, it looks like a looks like that little boy that that wants to pee on a Ford or something. Um, but it's also a bottle opener. But Basically, and it's got a different gauge here for cleaning off the grate, and it works surprisingly well um, in these situations. So, you know, usually before I start, I'll clean off everything, get it down in there so that it'll burn away. So, I've done things in the wrong order, of course, so it gets us an opportunity to review. First thing I want to do is I want to put this big grate down in here, then the smaller grate. Nested, nested on top, put in the cooking pan and the fire grate, and then we'll put this in here, and you still have room for other things, you know, you could have a little bag of charcoal or something like that. So now, the interesting part, uh, you got to have gloves, so this is just a pair of Walmart gloves. Um, I prefer kind of using that because they're cheap, and uh, they work, and they fit. I have very, very large mitts. Those go inside. This is the smaller size Weber fire starter. You can get a camp made folding one. Um, it's not really necessary but it would allow you to carry more stuff. Um, maybe because you'd have to have a place for the gloves. So this just goes inside like that and now you can see how all of this stuff sits in there. And now the moment of truth, putting the lid on, and then fastening the legs. And now it's all ready to go. And you've got everything you need. It's not all over the place. Basically, even after you cook, all the dirty stuff is inside your dirty grill. Um, and uh, you know, it's just good to kind of keep it this way so that, you know, not only can you go anywhere, but you can go anywhere at the last minute and you know you have the kit you need besides the food and the fuel um, to be able to cook. I call this the uh, Weber Go Anywhere Barbecue Doctor Kit because it kind of reminds me of an old doctor bag. Um, but you can call it anything you want. So, anyway, feel free to um, post comments or questions. I'm sure I've missed something. Um, I'll be happy to follow up. Um, I've really enjoyed that a lot of people have enjoyed seeing how this all works out. Um, I can't say it's an original idea. I've seen little pieces of this idea 
uh, from some different people. Um, and uh, oh, I want to give a special shout out to uh, all uh, all my Aussie friends, um, the Weber GA uh, Weber GA Life, I think it's called on Facebook. That group is fantastic, best friendliest group of guys and gals you'll you'll ever run into, with lots of great ideas. Unfortunately, a lot of products that you can only get in Australia that are really cool, um, but um, very inspirational folks. So anyway, that's it. We're going to cut.